How's this for a campsite? There's no one around. I have a couple bars of cell service, so with my booster, I'll be in good shape. I just got parked and level, hopefully just in time for the rain to come in. This is the aftermath of sleeping in my braids. Actually, I guess it doesn't look too I guess it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I need to wash my hair today. Y'all, it feels like fall this morning. Like I'm not even lying. It's gorgeous out. It's it's actually windy. This is the windiest I've ever experienced it in Greer. I just looked it up. It's like 15 miles per hour, which isn't bad, but um it's gorgeous. Like it feels like autumn is right around the corner um i just saw a side by side go past here because there's there's like a trail an off-road vehicle trail i'm surprised more haven't come by but i'm kind of in a weird spot um so i'm just drinking my coffee i was up at seven o'clock this morning because there was a cow right outside our door mooing and doing like it's weird honking noises Winston and I both woke up, but then we fell back to sleep. So on the agenda today, um, I'm staying at camp all day. I'm not going to go anywhere. Well, m for a few reasons. First of all, I have a ton of videos to work on. I'm like so excited about it. So I have a lot of content that I'm working on. I do want to take Winston on a walk down this trail behind us. I need to get a shower in and I need to do that by 2 p.m. because we're expecting rain later this afternoon. My baseball game starts at 4.10 and we're just gonna like do stuff around camp and clean up. I don't want to lose this spot. Brock will be joining me tonight. So not till like late though. He won't get in until after it's dark. So I'm just going to enjoy this campsite. The views are so lovely with the mountains and the field and um I look forward to taking you guys on that walk with us down the trail. Here, let's walk. There's my van right there. We're kind of on a hill, which is nice because the views are gorgeous. Oh, sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> Check out these massive trees. Oh, sorry. I know I'm going slow today, huh? You have lots of energy. I love that. So we're going on a walk this morning. It was Winston's idea. But also what I'm doing is I am... Oh, you're running? Oh my! You're such a puppy today! I'm walking to the end of this dirt road because Brock will be here at dark and with pin locations when you send them <laughs> it's not going to take him to the road it, it he, i could just imagine him at night in the dark trying to traverse this field trying to get to my campsite because that's just how gps works unfortunately with these pin locations so i'm going to send him a pin to the entrance of the road 
That way he can get to the road and then follow it up to my campsite. <laughs> Puppy! <laughs> Look at you running this morning. This crisp air helps, huh? Gives us some energy. Look at the cows, bub. <laughs> They're running like you. No wonder you want to run. You want to be like your brethren. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Y'all are judging me so hard. I know. I know, I'm just a human. So judgy. Bless you, bless you. There's another uh, campsite down here little closer to the road be good for like a big rig or a big camper so you don't have to traverse this uh, dirt road going up where we're camped at I have to uh, tell you guys something as I'm sitting on the sitting in the dirt right now grounding with a miniature cow grazing behind me so we went on that walk this morning and Winston was like running for most of it. And last week I kind of started to freak out because I, I had this short period of time when, like within the last month, that I've been worried about Winston's health. And the reason being is that I, he has a heart murmur it's progressed from stage one to two to three to four, but that's over the last like two, three years. So it's progressing slowly. Hi son. But I made him a cardiologist appointment and I talked about this recently, but just in case you missed it, I made him a cardiologist appointment with the top canine cardiologist in the state because I do not skimp when it comes to veterinary health. Uh, so, it uh, is three month wait, <laughs> so the soonest I could get him in is October 23rd. So I took the first appointment I could get. So we go see the cardiologist on October 23rd. Um, he'll get an EKG and, and have some tests done to see for sure where we are at. Um, because before it progresses any further, I want to see if there's something preventative I can do and get him on a wellness plan moving forward. But during the last month, um, you know, his heart, it is what it is. I've taken the steps, so that's out of my control. We go see the doctor and the rest, you know, again, out of, just out of my control. But I've been worried about his osteoarthritis. I know he kind of, so he has permanent nerve damage in his left shoulder and that leg from when he was attacked. <clears throat> so ever since his, the, the attack in 2020, he's had issues with... Uh, that nerve system going through that shoulder and it causes him to shake in that leg a lot. But in this last month, I've noticed that his other legs are shaking at random times now too, which is a sign of osteoarthritis. He's almost 13, but he's been on a hip and joint chew for about seven years now. And, um, but all of a sudden I felt like it got kind of bad quickly. Then I really started uh, doing a process of elimination in my mind, um, and I noticed that over the last month, I've been really stressed out. Things have been chaotic, and we've been in the Phoenix Valley more often than usual, and it's really hot there, and it's really miserable, and that makes everything else that's going on a thousand times worse, because... 
this sort of summer heat that we've been experiencing is just not good for the soul. It's not good for mental health. In Arizona, a lot of people in the summer struggle with seasonal affective disorder because we get so hot and it's constant sun and we feel trapped and suffocated. It's like the opposite of like Washington and Oregon, right? Like we have too much heat and too much sun and it just, it's terrible. It'll, it'll make everybody nuts. And, um, but what I've noticed is that since we got the taco situation figured out, we've been spending more time, just me and Winston, in the van, in nature, in cooler weather. He's just not, he's not, his limbs aren't shaking like they have been. And I can always tell, I've been, I've been noticing that after we get in the van and like a day of decompressing, he's almost like back to normal. I mean, he ran almost that entire walk this morning. And right now as I'm petting him, like he's not, he's not shaking. Like, and I have, um, I have meloxicam for him that his doctor, his life-saving doctor prescribed to him earlier this year when I had his senior panel before we went to Colorado. So I have that, and if I feel like he's like been really active, I can give that to him. It's kind of like ibuprofen, uh, but for, for dogs. So just to kind of keep the inflammation down, I don't give it to him every day, just as needed. Um, but I believe that your mind is perhaps the most powerful healing tool for your body, and the same can be said with dogs. You know, they get, they feel that energy, they feel that stress. And when you're stressed out, that adds so much pressure onto your body and ailments. So since I've been feeling better and we've been just in this restful, in these restful circumstances in the van doing what we love most, he's been doing much better. And I think that's important to share because it, it's like that for dogs and it's like that for humans. Um, mind over matter. Like it really is true. So it, like if you're negative and you put out negativity, that's what you bring into your life. If you're positive and you put that out, that's what you get back. I'm a full believer in that. So I'm so happy to see Winston like doing so well. He's like acting like a puppy today. And, um, but I do look forward to going to the cardiologist and seeing what's going on with that. And then I can take it further with osteoarthritis if I feel the need to. Um, I'm interested in seeking out a holistic veterinarian uh, for assistance with his osteoarthritis. Um, Western medicine, in my opinion, has its place, but I think that there are there could be some other options. So, ooh, my tripod, don't want it to fall over. But um, So yeah, that's where we're at with Winston, but he's doing really good today, and that makes me so happy, and then he's happy, then I'm happy, and then everybody's happy, and then it's just a big cycle of happiness, and life is... Life is really good. It is 11 a.m. And wow, this day so far has been another perfect one. I got my shower tent set up and my solar out. It is charging my small Vitomin 600. I have my shower water. It's like 60 six degrees out right now but in the sun it's perfect with this wind it's actually really awesome i have been working on getting my van all cleaned up let's see how windy it is we have flies today we didn't have flies yesterday but we had cows a lot closer <laughs> to camp so it uh makes sense but Winston's in his playpen now. As you can imagine, he's tired from uh, having the run this morning. Huh, my son? I'm going to cook up some bacon here soon while I just listen to some music and enjoy this absolutely serene environment. Y'all, I just took my shower and, and impeccable timing. It's starting to rain. Well, it was sprinkling while I was taking my shower and I started to hear thunder and I was like, oh, I better take it now because I don't know what's happening. Also, if I'm squinting, it's because I can't see. 
Oh, my glass is on. Something just happened to me that's never happened to me in four years of van life. Let me preface by saying, whenever I set up my shower tent, I typically set it up on the side that is most private. So whether it's behind my trunk or on one of my sides, I set up my shower tent where I have the most privacy. And right now it's set up kind of between two trees in the trees for even more privacy. I need to get more lotion. So something just happened to me. I'm in my shower tent, taking my shower, and all of a sudden I hear an off-road vehicle coming up because there's a trail right here. And I had this thought like, shit, I'm in the shower. This person or these people could like, granted, I don't know if they could see me or knew anyone was in there or if they were looking or whatever. They, they honestly were probably completely oblivious, but these people could attack me when I'm like at my most vulnerable moment. So what would happen if I got attacked when I was in my shower tent at my most vulnerable moment? And one thing about me that you guys know if you've been watching me for a while, I'm always armed. I'm always armed. I always have a weapon on me. You might know, not know what it is or where it is, but I am always armed. So I work on the system called fuck around and find out because you will find out. I am not, I'm not the one. I'm not the one to mess with. I am always armed. And it's funny because today I was using my sledgehammer to drive the stakes into the ground. And I set it right behind my shower tent on top of the bags to weigh the bags down. And in that moment, I remembered my sledgehammer is right behind me. If someone were to attack me, first of all, I was trained in self-defense when I was a teenager. So, and I still possess those skills. Um, grab the sledgehammer, one hit of the head would knock that person out. Just cold, just boop, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, do not do that. So... Now, moving forward, because I've never thought of that before and I've never been in that situation, I will um, have something right outside my shower tent or in my shower tent because if, God forbid, somebody attacks me in that moment, it's not going to be my funeral people are attending. In fact, I'll be at their funeral being like, you shouldn't have done that because I'm not the one. No, sir. What do you think? Was that smart bone good? I'm so grateful you're not afraid of the thunder because it was just very loud. And thankfully my tent, I'm so glad I tied it to that tree. It's been questionable with the wind today. Oh boy. Good afternoon for resting, huh, my son? Well, we got a little bit of sun. I'm going to sit outside and enjoy the rest of the evening. So I will wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch all the way through. I will see you next time.